Robots have become a common sight in today's Japan. They're especially widely used in industry, with Japan making about 50% of the world's industrial robots. Here, we're going to look at a new industrial robot that operates on revolutionary principles. It was developed by one of the world's leading tire manufacturers. They saw that rubber, the raw material for tires, had the potential to make a different type of robot. This robot grips objects with a hand as flexible as a human's. Because it's rubber, it can handle things gently without scratching them. The hand can also adjust its grip to match the size and consistency of any object. A major issue in many countries, the shortage of labor in distribution industries was the force that drove the development of this robot. A lot of tasks need human hands, and labor shortages have become a serious problem. Seeing the need for robots that could take over this work was the trigger for our project. The artificial muscle technology used by their robot is based on many years of research. When pressure is applied to a rubber tube filled with air or oil, the tube contracts and stretches like a human muscle. Adding metal plates allows the direction of bending to be controlled. The robot hand holds great promise for distribution centers, which must process objects of all sizes and shapes. We believe that our hand can make a valuable contribution to a number of industries, from distribution to food and factory automation. Professor Nakamura Taro has been researching artificial muscles for many years. He built this robot that moves forward, even though it has no hands or legs. The design was inspired by the way an earthworm moves. An earthworm's body consists of about 150 segments. Each segment is moved by its own muscles, and the movement ripples along the body, rather like the way our intestines work to push food along. Earthworm segments contract to become thicker and shorter. When they return to their original size, this creates a force that pulls the next segment. The robot replicates this motion powered by air pressure. This robot is used to install piping inside buildings and underground. It can clean and inspect the inside of pipes that are difficult to access any other way. Robots that move like earthworms have many applications for industry. For example, they can move through small, narrow spaces, and their pulling power is very strong. The use of soft robots is expanding rapidly. We're also developing a robot to dig into the soil on the moon and one that can dive underwater to explore beneath the deep sea floor. I see so many potential uses. Flexible, soft robots promise to revolutionize industry, solving labor shortages and performing tasks that are impossible or dangerous for people.